Welcome back to Small Lathe. Every time I've used this Unimat as a mill, and right now it is a mill, let me show you. I'm sorry I'm a bit wobbly here. But this is the base. Well, every time I've used it as a mill, I used to complain that there is no z-axis control, you don't have any lines scribed on the spindle, you don't have any sort of way to know what and how are you doing and how low are you going and so on. I've been thinking of all sort of mounts and setups that will bolt down to the base, which is this wood plate. and. None of those seem to be very functional. There there were issues of stability, positioning, movement of the head, and so on, so on. So I had to use some sort of a solution that would allow me to use the versatility of this mill while still not harming its functionality. Because this mill will allow you to tilt the head all the way in a 360 degrees motion. So if you want to build a setup that will allow you to still have this versatility, you need it to be movable or flexible. I've been thinking of attaching a device to the main shaft, the main axis of the mill, but that's not also very user friendly and attaching it to places and, and marking the shaft movement up and down would be problematic and then I came up with this and that's really super easy super fast I took whatever stock I had which is 304 stainless in this case drilled it tapped it and set secured it now the original screw over here was an M6 which is a metric screw and that was fine I just replaced it with a longer screw that's very simple I'm using at the moment this cheesy setup which is a Chinese uh, holder it's it's not really sturdy or efficient and I bought it because I wanted to try something and uh, it didn't work out so you can't if you don't have a unimat you can't mount it on these areas because that's aluminum not steel very cost efficient in terms of weight but it's not very useful when you want to connect a magnetic base to it and let's turn it on. The beauty of it now is that I can move the shaft and let me move it with the other hand. And I can see how low I go, or high I go, doesn't matter. And the beauty of using a digital indicator is that you can zero it. So wherever you're at, you can refer to that point as zero. So if you do have Unimat and you find it useful, let me know. I'd love to hear it. If you think there's a simpler way, <laughs> and I do admit I've been sitting and thinking about it for quite a few hours, so if you can find a simpler way than that, I'd love to hear about that as well. I think this is elegant, simple, easy to make, which is an important point, and it's uh, doable, really doable. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's useful for you. I hope you have a Unimet and you can build something like that because no doubt that if you have a digital indicator or even a plain indicator and a mount and you're using a Unimet, then you can definitely do this part. It's super easy. So if you do that, let me know. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear it. Thanks for watching. Bye.